So it's really the mobile fab lab comes in handy when we need to show our when we want to express our ideas to other schools. Okay. Like STEM. Now, was all STEM the concept. fab lab uh, looks like all this was all this made by you guys? Yeah, yeah. We I think yeah, actually all these cabinets that were cut, I think using the laser cutter. Using the laser cutter and the shop bot. Yeah, Mostly the all the materials in here that you see is made out of wood. They have actually made the sophomores and juniors have actually made it. And it's I want to do something like that. We haven't had a chance to do it, but hopefully we will. Yeah, like, like, like here's the old design for the Fab Lab. We switched it. Students, uh, they actually designed this one too. This is how it used to look, but now you see it looks different. Yeah, that was that was pretty neat. I wasn't here when that was looking like that. Yeah. You guys want to be certified in the Fab Lab? Yeah, I'm working on that now. I'm yeah, start going to take more informative classes about the laser cutters and everything I should know and everything I need to know so I can be certified to do it. I'm only certified to do the laser cutters, but I want to be certified to use the shop bot as well because that is a good material and good item that I can use to cut a lot of wood and different things. So, so this is your math class. We're building 90, 45, 45 triangles. And if you look on this one, they're the same thing. We give me this through one triangle. So if you look like don't forget the sides, but yeah. this is just one triangle. Yeah. And then it's being split up into more, so then there's another triangle. You cut the snowflakes here? Um, cut snowflakes. And as you see here, we're cutting the... Yeah, that's just a star. This is acrylic. Because we implemented this with the snowflake, so we just cut it in half. Mm -hmm. And then just repeat it, copy and paste it, and spliced it. So that way it could be together. Fractals like make up just about every part of your daily life. Just from, from the fabric that you wear in your clothing to the... Yeah, it's perfect fractal. To the ants and the, the cell structure of your body. It's perfect fractal. Yeah. It's like every, everything that you do in everyday things, it consists of fractals. From this table build to your cell structure to... The moon to just about anything in nature and you might not space. see it from the naked eye, but you zoom in so close and see that the fabrics are the same thing over and over. It's just pattern based. I like the idea of you being to do project based learning and build stuff with your hands instead of just always doing writing work, which you mostly did in elementary school. Yeah. So I applied for to go here and I got in and I was happy. And then ninth grade year, we did a lot of interesting projects like robotics and communication. And light and all type of sustainability projects that, that was really interesting and I like to do with hands on projects. Little things. What's um what's an example of sustainability project? Uh, my, my my me personally my sustainability project was uh it had to do with solar panels. So I personally built a um, solar battery charger. Wow. Out of uh, I used a, a nice size amount of wood and I, um, yeah here here's here's an example this is of, panel. Yeah, this is just like the one I used, but mine was much larger. And uh, I took basically one or two of these big panels, I can't remember really, and then I, I attached them to a wood panel. And then I, I dismembered a battery charger, which is like a, a normal battery charger, dismembered in, and I wired it back together so it could be compatible with this, which was a solar panel, and it worked pretty nicely and charged the battery.